Hey there, I'm Jenna and welcome back to day number 16 where we're going to be talking about creating a wind down routine. So I'm going to talk about what that means and a, a little three step process to help you out. This is going to help for better rest and relaxation or to really feel re-energized for the next day in order to be the most productive in work and life. Okay. So negative sleep can affect our mind and physical health and it's vital to really understand the impact and the importance. So I really wanted to share a few little steps here with you to help you on your way. So we may notice we become more anxious during the day, maybe snappy and crabby, as we know, less focused and overall less productive, okay? And as a result, we know this is an issue, but we might not always know what to do to fix it and work on it. So this morning, I was listening on the Headspace app to Dr. Um, Mita Singh, and she was going through um, a few nuggets of information for really sharing insight that I wanted to share with each of you. Hence, today is the topic of the day. So I always like to find information that I'm using to really share with you and guide you on your journey as well. So when we're preparing to go to bed, we want to really minimize any distractions or things that make our heart pound and race, right? And get us feeling anxious. So as a result, having us feeling even more, maybe overwhelmed, frustrated, anxious. So keep that in mind. So she did share, Dr. Singh did mention keeping the phone out of reach. That may sound like a simple, easy one, but for many of us, it's not. So this way we're less, we're much more or less likely to really focus on, let's say things like social media, checking our emails that might get you derailed and feeling like anxious for the next day or overwhelmed or anything work related. So if we try and minimize having bright lights in front of our face or in front of us or around us, it's going to be all the better. So that could be cell phone, that could be a TV light, any LEDs. So consider listening to maybe a relaxing audible or meditation and remember to keep your phone out of reach. And that could be within the same room so you can hear your morning alarm, but not that it's going to be right there and distracting you. And even wearing like a face mask, that's something our, each of our, my husband and kids, we love doing. So, um, Make sure that if you do have an alarm on, it's close enough to hear it, but not easy access at night. Okay. So she recommended Dr. Singh mentioned step one would be take a hot bath or shower to really help the body temperature fall. Um, it's a cue to your body that it's time to wind down and get ready for bedtime. She goes on to explain in step two, where it's important for us to start thinking about, um, something that really relaxes you overall. So this can really take between, she said about 30 to 45 minutes. So give yourself the self, the time and the space to really wind down and relax and kind of get in the zone instead of like rushing yourself, thinking you're going to go to sleep in two to five minutes. Right? So step three would be try some mental exercises. So examples are very simple. We probably learned in grade school, counting numbers, whether it's upwards, downwards in, in numbers, um, and sequence reciting a poem or even tensing and relaxing each body part from head to toe. So that was an interesting fact there. So try it out tonight, create a routine that really works for you and feels like your own routine. And I would encourage you as well, just to make space for that quality, um, sleep because it's going to make a difference for your next day and so forth. So in a great morning to feel productive and get moving. So I'll see you back tomorrow. Hope this was a, a great tip of the day and make it a good one.